may be restored. Is that for sure? Probably. But I do not know how to awaken it. Before I had the opportunity, it disappeared, and he has been like that since. Basically, as long as nothing happens to Faye, that would challenge his existence. Faye can be himself. But his surroundings do not allow him that opportunity. It would be best for him to live in a place that is peaceful. So Faye is a very complex person, if you did not already figure that out. That is... Lakan. No, the Dark One. Groff's second advent. We must restrain and seal him up, otherwise we don't know what may occur. Cease this at once. May we at least wait for Wise Man to return before we make any resolutions. Although a tactician, why do you place so much importance on him? I have been silent all this time since Khan's death, since he was directly recruited by the Queen. However, I question why you would use such a person whose principles lack any understanding of sacrifice. Well, that is. You must look at reality, the existence of that power. Hold on, hold on, what's this Groff's second advent? The day of the collapse was brought upon by Groff. Groff manipulated Diabolos into destroying this world. And that power within id is far too similar to Groff's. We cannot allow such a hazard to be set free. We ought to immediately freeze him in carbonite, otherwise expect the worst at any moment. No. But isn't the present Fae the real Fae? If that's the case, then why? But he is still far too dangerous. Think about it. He single-handedly annihilated the Solaris capital. We can't set him free. Not only that, in the past. There were countless other cities that were destroyed by Id. I don't know their intentions, but Groff and Krellian were always involved somehow. And one of those incidents was Alru. It was Dominia's homeland. Solaris's purging of the rebelling city of Alru was done through the use of Id to test his capabilities. As a result, not only was Alru taken down, all of the Solaris units present were wiped out. He's responsible for the Igs and our... So he was the one that killed my subordinates in the sewers. What's wrong with you all? Aren't we supposed to be his friends? It appears everyone else is in agreement. The risks are just too great. Satan, no, that is terrible. Hmm. It's decided then. We will be scheduled for carbon freezing tomorrow. He will be scheduled. They're going to freeze him in the carbonite. No, they're going to Han Solo him up. We can't let that happen. I heard about it from Doc. Id. Who would have ever thought within me lies another me? But you're the same Faye I've always known. You return to your old self. Please don't be obsessed with it. They say I'm the second advent of Groff. The one who destroyed all of this world. Seems Groff used to be a land dweller named Lakehan. They're not thinking about what they're saying. They're just confused by your powers. Groff called me the one who would destroy God. In a way, I can understand what he means now. Though my id power isn't good enough. If it has the same quality as Groff's, I... Let's escape. If Groff or the war brings out id, let's go to a place where no wars exist. If you did that, you'd be... That's all right. I don't have a place to go back, either. Thanks, Ellie. But no. Even if I left the battlefield, there's no guarantee that it'll never appear again. Besides, I tried to kill you. You're still okay with that? Then you could have killed me if you really wanted to, right? The other you. Id's power is nothing like that. But you still didn't go through with it. You knew when it was enough. Isn't that because your will was in effect? If you're to be controlled by Id and all those around you became your enemies, I'd still be by your side because, because, I know it's lonely to be by yourself. She refuses to say it. She refuses to say it. Just three little words, that's all you need to say. I'll open it now. Let's go, Faye. Ellie.
What's gonna happen to the well tall? Oh! She snuck him out. I thought it was about time for you to come. It's no use trying to stop me. Even if it is you. If you get in my way, I have no choice but to. That has no way for a lady to speak. I just came here to see you off. What? Hurry, field, Waltall. We are ready to go any time. Satan. But, Ellie, you cannot use your gear while it is under repairs. What? Then what am I? You know that Omni gear? What if you borrow it? No way. I can't take Shavat's property without permission. Ellie is the only appropriate person for the gear. Nobody else can operate it. No. Never! I won't ride it, ever! Ellie, what's wrong? I'm so scared. That's why I'll never want to do it. This is a problem. How about if I ride with you? Everyone? S sorry, Faye. I'm sorry. Sorry. No. Thanks, everyone. Now, I know you hate to leave, but we should get going before dawn. I did some work on the radar, so it should work fine. They have left. Faye! Where? They went far away. I Go! Back to the Gazelle Ministry. Kane, making a ridiculous setup with Huga. He certainly has his deficiencies compared to our digitized existence, which permits us to use a higher level of logical thinking. He's restricted by his human form. Regardless, with just one machine, he annihilated Etronach. His powers must not be underestimated. We're already short of time. The key. Use the key! Even you are beginning to feel the pressure. Krellian, what is Kane's situation? The usual life extension treatment. He'll hold out for a little longer. Does that mean we may not make it in time? I wouldn't know. You spoke of using the key. Can you be sure he can be eliminated? That we do not know. You know who he is. If he is the contact, there is a possibility he may not transmigrate. It's not an organism composed of multiple generations. It's a matter of probability. That does not mean we can just remain idle. Yes, at this rate we are bound to make the same mistake, but we can't fail a second time. Well, don't worry. I've sent Ramses to deal with him. What can a failure like him do? He couldn't even defend Entronach. What can you expect from trash like him? Even if he has the animal relic? The relic? The relic we recovered before has been aligned with his gear. There shouldn't be any problems now. He should be able to use his full power. You're going to take the task yourself? Although he transmigrated, wasn't he once one of you? I don't understand you. I've thrown away all feelings of human emotion. All I need is her. But isn't that also an emotion? Of course. Is that a blunder? You are irritating. Do you wish to cease your existence? Fine. We shall leave it at that. Do we have another cutscene? We do! It's time to head off with... I think that's Ramses. Like, yes. El Haim. Yes. This is the place. I want you to bring her here. She is an important woman to me. Don't be ridiculous. Why do I have to listen to you? If you need her, go get her yourself. You're quite right. But can you say the same thing after looking at this? This. This is. Your gear and the anima relic have been aligned. This is the Omni Gear. Now, she is with Faye now. What? 
losing those battles against Faye again and again. I believe it's because of the difference in the performance of the gears. I think you'll be able to use 100% of its abilities. So how about it? However, if you still fail with this, you are truly trash. E Ramses, will you go? Car, are you going? Yes, I must get rid of him with my own hands. Be careful. I do believe I believe in you no matter what others say. Faye, what a loathsome name. I worked my way up on my own, but he ruined it again. <clears throat> that signal! It's him! I'm not trash! I'm not worthless! What kind of gear is that? Omni gear, and according to the readings, it's clearly different from the one Bart's using or the one in Shavat. You think it's the, the perfect gear? Perfect gear? Remember what Stan said? He said that the Omni gears are controlled by mental waves. The power, the potential varies depending on the rate of synchronism. Synchronism? The numbers indicate complete synchronization. Slow, too slow. They're catching up with us. Your performance is sad. <sighs> I knew you'd be there. Ramses? Turn Lieutenant Elahim over to me, Faye! What? Why do we have to turn Ellie over to you? Oh, I get it. It's Krillian's idea, isn't it? I don't think so. You can't expect me to comply. I can take her by force if you wish, but then don't ever expect to be able to hold her in her arms ever again. Dick. Hey! Don't worry, I'll protect you. Impressive words. Faye, I intend to take everything away from you. And now it's boss time. Again, do we actually get to fight? No, we get more scenes. This is your final warning. Hand over, Lieutenant Alain. Not now. I refuse to. Are you sure you want to refuse me? It'll be too late for you to change your mind later. Stop your stupid boasting. <laughs> well then, I'll have to show you if I'm boasting or not. So be it. No holding back and no holds barred. How much damage did it do? Come on, come on, report form! What's wrong, Faye? In the presence of my vendetta, your well tall is but only an infant. Incredible, this undeniable difference in power. Yang, are you watching this? At this rate, and with this power, I can defeat him! <laughs> Ramses, listen, I surrender! So please, stop attacking us this instant! What are you saying? If you do that... It is me he wants. I can't drag you into danger just over me. No. She's not playing fair again. Stop attacking, Ramses! If I'm what you want, then just take me! <laughs> win! I can win! I am not the worthless one! Ramses, can't you hear us? He's lost himself in the overwhelming power of that gear of his. Faye, we had better run. It's over for you, Faye Fong Wong. They look about the same size. Maybe his is a little bigger. Without a number, I don't know if this is powerful or not. It looks powerful. That definitely looks powerful. Ah! Ow. She screamed again. I am not the worthless one. <laughs> what? Huh? I've even taken out the lieutenant too. Damn, I forgot my orders. Oh well, to hell with Krellian's orders. So he killed Faye and Ellie? That can't be it. 
No. Faye's alive at least. Damn. The bleeding. The bleeding won't stop. If things don't change at this rate, Ellie's not gonna make it. So Ellie's alive too. Sweet. And we're in a forest. Ugh. Ellie, hang in there. Ellie, I'll save you, I promise. Ellie! Damn, Weltall is messed up. But we need to help Ellie. Oh, Groff. You're not helping, Groff. What do you want? No, we have to help Ellie. Oh, looks like she's bleeding, actually. They drew that on our sprite. Save. Yes. We haven't seen this in a long time. I have four saves because this, this game is, is not easy. And I am actually on the first one. So, yeah, I've been playing for 5740, which probably means I've been playing upwards of 58 hours now. And I do believe that that is the end of the first disc, if I'm being honest. Is it? There we go. Insert disc two. But we're going to have to do that next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed this these parts. This one very long cutscene of Let's Play Xenogears. I've been Baller Scoop. I've been joined by everybody who may or may not be alive. We'll have to find out next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. These parts. Yes. I already said that. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.